Hi, I'm here in Guyana at the Grand Coastal Hotel. A lot is happening here, but most important, I've seen Ian Burns of Red Jet. I'm going to have a talk with him now. I'm yes, enjoying sir. Georgetown and Guyana here uh, yes, uh, uh, an awful lot, more than I should. You're probably the most talked about man in the Caribbean right now because everybody is waiting for red to hit the air. And I understand that is likely to happen next month. Yes, our scheduled services will commence on the 8th of May. Uh, our first flight will be from Bridgetown in uh, Barbados to Port of Spain in Trinidad. Where's your hub, sir? Well, we don't call it a hub, we call it a base, uh, a base? because we want to, we're want we not a hub-and-spoke kind of airline. Right. What we want to do is create a number of bases throughout the Caribbean. Our product is a very focused product. Uh, it's called a short, medium-haul product. We fly generally from up to 40 minutes to four hours is kind of our range. That's what we kind of service we provide. Are you using pro props or jets? No, we use jet aircraft only. We're the first airline in the Caribbean to only use jets. Um, we have MD-82 aircraft, 149 all-economy class seats. Mm -hmm. um, we have a what we call an, an opt-in policy. You only pay for what you get. So tell me, does this mean that we can look forward to significantly lower fares? Well, our fares will start at US dollars 9.99 cent on every route, on every flight. Uh, this is no gimmick. This will be continued on and on and on. This Ten a US. Stretch. 10 US dollars, and we will reduce the cost of travel in the region at the moment by up to 60%. Now, is this sustainable, Mr. Burns? Well, it's the most sustainable, profitable airline model in the world at the moment. All the most profitable airlines in the world are low-cost ca carriers throughout the, re throughout the world, the regions of the world, and we see no re reason why we cannot be the same within the Caribbean. Beyond the Barbados, Trinidad, where, where next and how are you planning to develop into the wider region? Well, our objective is to obviously grow and to be the biggest airline in the region. Uh, to do that, we need to obviously get permission in other countries to create bases. And that's up to governments to decide as to how quickly, how slowly we can roll that model out. Well, where, where is RedJet from? Uh, RedJet, ostensibly, is a bunch of entrepreneurs uh, who are uh, former friends and colleagues of mine. Uh, and other people within the region who have got excited about Red Jet and who understand that the potential that Red Jet has. So we're an entrepreneurial airline, we're privately owned, and we don't get a cent from any taxpayer. We're here to roll out what we believe is a serious business model. So, you heard it for yourself right here. This is Errol Fabian on a special Errol Fabian report.